hi friends this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do the surface stamping option in the generated sheet metal workbench in KTRV5. In front of us we have a sheet metal component which I have kept for demonstrating uh, this particular option. If you don't have this particular piece you could simply create a wall or a sheet metal wall and that would be sufficient to demonstrate that. So, if you don't know how to create a wall, please go back to my previous tutorial and uh, find out how you can create a wall. Okay, Stamping is a metalworking process in which a sheet is punched in a press tool. This process is used to create st stamping features such as blanking, piercing and forming on the sheet metal part. So, there are different kind of stamping options. I can show you the different kind of stamping options here. A surface stamping, bead, curve, flange cutout, lower, bridge stamp. So I'm going to show you one by one the different kind of stamping options which we have in the software. So firstly I will show you the first one that's the first surface stamp. So click on the surface stamp by going to the insert stamp and then you need to create a sketch. So for creating a sketch you have an option here. So before that let me tell you what a surface stamp is. Surface stamp is simply uh, you are creating an embossing on the area where you have created a sketch. So the rule is that the sketch need to be closed. So click on the sketch and click on the face where you need to create the stamp. It's not necessary that this should be the face but this could also be the face. And create a simple closed profile and then you could click on the preview and you can see that the stamping has happened so in this case you can see that the height is 2 and uh, you have another option called as a half pierce if you click on the half pierce the half the thickness of the sheet metal will be taken it will be half half uh, pushed here and half pulled here so little half will be outside and little half will be pushed out. So I hope you understood that. And uh, you have an option to extend it till 1. So you could give 1 mm. And uh, you could see that it's fully pushed. And if you give 1.2 it's not going to work because it's the 1 is the maximum for half piercing option. Otherwise it doesn't make sense. So that's the half piercing option. So I could go for that was two before. So you have another option called as a limit, um, which is you could you could uh, increase the height, to say two point three, and you can see the height is being increased. You could also create a plane to show the height. So for doing that, click on the limit, create plane, and click on this face here as a reference reverse direction and click on 2.1 and click on preview and click on the preview surface feature involved in an update cycle so what you could do is you could cancel this here and you could try it once again insert stamping surface stamp create our profile and then create the plane with reference to this reverse direction 1.5 this time we will give 1.5 on the preview click on OK and the preview and you can see so basically we are adjusting the height by using a plane here that's a small thing and uh, you could clear the selection here and click on preview and uh, let me explain you uh, there are two radius involved here so one is this radius here and one is another one is the radius over here so you could uh, increase or decrease that not increase that too much because they're gonna get some error so the radius is being increased so uh, all these options are uh, kind of self self-explanatory and you need to uh, 
you know you don't need to toggle this much when you're working but I'm just explaining you the details um, because it's gonna help you out so you could you could increase or decrease the way you want and uh, that's how the surface stamp can be done in a simple way and I hope you understood this particular tool please keep watching and if you have any doubt on this particular tool please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any doubts or any any kind of uh, project uh, inquiries or anything you could write to me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com and uh, any special tutorial you need you can also write to me at the same email and uh, that's all for today stay tuned keep watching